Hello everyone and welcome to Long's Toys. I have an Ultraman Orb review for you today. Uh, two more in the Ultra Monster Orb series. Uh, number three, Gubira, and number four, Kedubimu. So I think these guys look pretty cool. I'm going to put this guy off to the side for a second and we'll take a look at uh, Gubira. Definitely immediately um, Dromojimon from <laughs> Digimon Adventure comes to mind. Just because he's kind of on all fours with a giant drill for his nose. Um, but I like that we're getting an Ultraman monster that isn't really like up, stands upright or is kind of humanoid. So I think that's neat. I like that they're kind of switching it up and giving us something a little different. Now you can see here he's kind of like walking around on his shins uh, in a way. Because this would be kind of like his, his knee. Uh, but then he's got a tail here on the back. A little bit of yellow paint on the top here. Uh, unfortunately, his only articulation is his front legs. That's really all he's got. The head looks like it should move, but it doesn't. So be careful, you don't want to bust it off. And then he's just got kind of a crazy expression here. I guess he's supposed to be kind of like a whale or a shark kind of monster. At least that's what the kind of head reminds me of coming to a point in the mouth. Definitely kind of reminds me of a shark. Uh, the, the paint on the eyes is very nice. And the crest up here. Definitely really nice paint. I mean, it's kind of lacking in articulation, but they definitely made up for it with a lot of nice paint applications. And I like the molded in detail. I think the tail is cool. His back legs are kind of neat. So yeah, that is Gubira. So I'm going to put him off to the side and we'll bring uh, back in uh, Kedubimu. I definitely like the look of this guy. Now again, he is another kind of upright uh, monster, but I really like the look of his tail. He's got kind of a club on the end of it here. And I just like this color blue. I don't know why. It just really speaks to me. Um, now unfortunately, his legs don't have any articulation, uh, but the tail does. That can swing from side to side, and the arms can move around. And he does have waist articulation, so a fair bit of articulation for a guy this size. Uh, I like his eyes and his teeth. I don't know why, but the kind of like pupilless lifeless eyes just kind of creep me out but in a good way and then he's got this kind of crazy horn on the front these kind of weird ridges on the side look a little strange but not a big deal and i love the spikes on the back really like like i could imagine this guy being a godzilla villain kind of it just kind of reminds me of that uh but it's a very very cool design i like him a lot and i love the color scheme they picked for him very nice so these are number three and four in the Ultra Monster Orb series. Here are the tags they come with real quick, just to take a look at them. They do include cards, which we will take a look at now with the DX Orb Ring. All right, so taking a quick look at the cards first. Uh, here is the card for Gubita, number 12. I like this artwork here, really nice. I love his kind of crazy mouth. I don't know, just kind of creepy. Taking a look at the back, not too much going on there. He is number 12. And then we have the card here for Kedubimu. Really like that artwork as well. He is number 13. Not much going on the back. So those are our two cards. And then we'll go ahead and turn on the DX Orb Ring and I'm gonna take a look at them individually. I'm going to pan this up just a smidge. Really nice blue color there. So the blue and the sounds lead me to believe that he is water-based. So pretty cool sounds there. Next up we'll do Kedebimu. Really a uh, short sound there. So not really sure why his sounds are so short, but just for fun we'll do a fusion.
So as you can see with the Monster Fusions, it just does the sounds for one and the sounds for the other. Not too exciting as far as fusions go, but I think they're pretty neat cards. I love the artwork on them, and you do get some sounds out of the DX Orb Ring. I think this guy's sounds are a little better than this guy, but what are you going to do? I definitely think they're nice cards. So I think these vinyl dolls are pretty fun. They're definitely relatively inexpensive, so that kind of makes them easy and fun to collect as opposed to their DX brethren. Um, but, I mean, I can understand how, since you don't get a whole lot of sounds with these cards in the DX Orb Ring, some people could be just sticking to the Ultraman collections, because that's really where the fusions come into play. Um, with last year, with Ultraman Orb, it was kind of the exact opposite. You were It was more fun to collect the monster cards, because then you got the armor sounds and things like that out of the X Divisor. This year, you don't get a whole lot out of the monster cards with the DX Orb Ring. So I can understand how some people might be passing on the vinyl dolls and just sticking to like the six card sets, uh, the Cyber Fusion sets. So, I mean, your mileage is going to vary. I think these are fun. I like the design. I love collecting a lot of little different monsters, and I think the cards are fun um, to collect because the artwork is nice. And you do get some sounds. They're just not super impressive. But, I don't know. To me, they're fun, and the fact that they're only about six to eight dollars a piece makes them easily collectible. So, let me know what you guys think in the um, comments below. I'd love to hear your opinions. Please like and share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Ultra Monster Orb Series 03, Gubera, and uh, 04, uh, Kerubimu. And thank you so much for watching.